O-M-G. I have figured out how to connect DocuSign and High Level. Okay, so as of the recording of this video, there are no real contracts in High Level. Yes, you can collect a signature, but I like to have that PDF and I'm not really sure yet if DocuSign, not DocuSign, but high level signatures are legal yet, right? But I have figured it out and I am going to show you right now. Okay, now in this video, what we're going to do is to set up and integrate our Go High Level account with DocuSign. So what you'll need for this is a Zapier account, which is free. You'll need a DocuSign account and you'll need to have access to your Go High Level account. All right, so let's get started. So in Zapier, once you set your account up and you come onto the screen, the first thing you're going to see is the dashboard. What we're going to do here is we're going to put our two apps into the system. Now, depending on the direction that you want that app to go, um, that's how you put them in. So what do I mean by that? What I mean is we're using DocuSign. So we want when that document is signed, to fire off an action in Go High Level. So what we're going to do is we're gonna put DocuSign in the first option. I never spelled that right. <laughs> and we're gonna select DocuSign. Then we're gonna put Go High Level in the next one. The app that we connect on is Lead connector. It's not going to say high level. It's going to say lead connector. So you want to look for lead connector. Okay. And so now if you want to figure out what the triggers are for any app, this is how I always figure that out. You're going to click on the drop down. So as you see, the triggers for DocuSign are limited. And when we say trigger, we're just saying action. Trigger just in the automation world means action. What action should we base this on is what that means. Just super simple. Keep it simple. Okay. So in DocuSign, when you send a contract off or a document, it's called an envelope. So we're going to click on envelope sent or completed. And then in the action in lead connector, we're going to choose select. We're going to choose add lead to campaign. Um, before when high level first came out, they had something called campaigns and workflows. And now they've converted workflows into campaigns into workflows where you don't need campaigns anymore and everything can happen on a workflow. So don't get confused. The language just has not been updated on Zapier. I'm not sure if it ever will, but if you're watching this video and you have the option to add lead to campaign, choose that option. If it's been changed to add lead to workflow, choose that option. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to say add lead to campaign. Now, this is what we want to do. And then we can click on try it right here so that we can set this up. So now it's going to open up this screen to tell you what's going to happen, the step-by-step -step of what's going to happen. So now you're going to click on get started. So now we have to connect our DocuSign account. So you'll need your DocuSign username and password. So we're going to click on connect. It's going to take us to the screen to put in our DocuSign credentials. And so, and then you're going to log in. Okay. So now it's asking for um, permission. You want to allow access to permission. So this is asking you to give Zapier access 
to access your DocuSign account. So we're going to click on allow access. Now our DocuSign account is connected. So now we're going to click on next. So now what we want to do is select which of these statuses. So completed is what we're um, we want to send this on. Now, if you want it to connect on sent, then you can connect on sent. Um, that's a specific use case scenario. You would do that if you wanted to send the user an email or a text and say, hey, we sent you a DocuSign. Um, please sign in and send it back. Okay. So complete it. Check off complete it. We're going to click on next. Now, download form data. Yes. Yes, we want to download the form data. So now we're going to click on next. Now in your form, which my form I sent, I don't think I have this. Make sure that you are, you have in that form, the person's, the first name, the last name, and I would put email or some identifier so that this will work properly. All right. So we are going to use, so I just set up a new account. So I am going to, to add my lead connector. I need to connect a new account. So I'm going to click on connect a new account. So now it's going to ask me for my lead connector account API access. So I'm going to go back over here to my account. Done with this. Okay, I'm done with that. I'm going to go back to workflows. And where you're going to find that is in the settings and then company or business info. And so right here is the API key that you would use. Again, I got here by going on the left-hand side all the way to the bottom, clicking on settings. When you click on settings, it opens up the settings menu. You want to click in business info. And so now I'm just going to click next to it is a clipboard. Do not click the regenerate key. That will disconnect anything that you have set up on this API key. So please be very, very careful right here. Click on the clipboard. Once you click the clipboard, you will get the copied option. We're going to go back over here to our connect an account in Zapier and we're going to paste. How did that say undefined? What did you do? Why did you say that? I'm going to do that again because I don't like what that says. Copied. I don't know. Is this new? This is new. Let's see. Yes and continue. Let's see. No. All right. Let me go back. Because why did you do that? It says it's copied. It says my API key is copied. But when I paste it, it's not working. Okay, this is great for uh, training. <laughs> All right, let me click here again. It says copied. Um, what I want to do is paste it to see if it really copied it. It did not. What is happening? Okay, I'm back. So I did hit the regenerate the API key because this is a new account and it's not connected to anything. And now when I hit copy, it does uh, copy the, the API key. So now I'm going to paste my API key in here and hit yes, continue. Now the new account is connected Oh, shoot. Okay. Connector, lead connector account. All right. So now the new account is connected and it's really this account up here at the top. So I will show you how to name your accounts later. But for me, it's lead connector two. 
All right, so I'm going to click on next. And now it's saying, well, which one of these campaigns do you want to add this to? So we're going to add it to workflow and click next. And so now it's saying, select the field you want to edit in lead connector. So we're going to click first name, last name, and then, well, you know what? Full name and email. And then we're going to hit next. Okay, so now we're going to map the fields from the DocuSign. So if we click in here, it's going to show us the entire all the fields that you have available. So right here is full name. So if you are not collecting this information, then you want to start collecting it so that you can. So I didn't collect this information. So let me, let me go back. Let me go back, refresh this. And also, let me go back to Zapier here. And let's go back to Zaps. So I actually really like the old way of doing things in, in here. Just because... Um, Let's create another funner just because it allows you to see what you need to do in the, the system. So what I'm going to do is create a new zap. Well, wait a minute. Let me get out of here. Now you're seeing my bloopers like, girl, what are you doing? Okay. So the way I want to go, I want to go rename that that lead connector. So I'm going to go into my apps. When you click on my apps, it's going to show you all of your apps. So we know that the app that we just integrated was called lead connector two. Oh, did it not integrate? Cause I got up out of there. It didn't integrate because I left. Okay, so it didn't integrate. So let's just start this entire process over. So we're going to go to dashboard and we're going to click on create zap. And from create zap, we're going to search DocuSign choose an event we want envelopes sent or completed and then it gives you the detailed information on why it's going when it's going to do it this is why i like this view better than the first view sorry you have to go through all this i know you're like girl what are you doing um okay and click on continue we're going to choose our docusign account click continue now, this is what I like. Choose the value, the status, completed, and download form. So just put form data to allow sender to download form data. I do want it to download the form data. Okay, now I'm going to click on continue. Now it's going to pull a test. So I did a document, but in that document, I don't think I collected everything that I needed to collect. So now it pulled in the document that I sent the fake document. So let's see the data that it's collecting. So it collected my name and it collected my email address, right? So that's helpful when we get to this second step. So I'm going to hit continue because that is the one I want. Now I'm going to select my next app, which is Lead Connector. So on Lead Connector, I need to, okay, sorry. I need to choose an event. So add lead to campaign is my event. 
So I'm going to click on continue. It's going to ask me which lead connector account to choose. So this is the lead connector account I want to choose. Why didn't that show up? Probably because I haven't used it. Okay. So this is the lead connector account. I'm going to click on continue. Now it's going to ask me what campaign. So I'm going to choose the campaign, which was now it's showing me all of my workflows. So I want the workflow PBS customer contract sign that I set up. Now, this is where you would insert the data. So we want full name. When I click on this, it's going to show me my DocuSign data. So I'm going to click on recipient signers name. And then I click off. I don't know why when you click it, it doesn't go away. But you can add multiple fields to, to a zap. So in email, I'm going to select recipient signers email. If you wanted to see all the other options, you could do that. And it will show you all, this other, all the other data it has. So I'm going to click on email. Now, I'm going to go down to the bottom, make sure there's nothing else that's required. Now, this information is pulling the custom values out of Lead Connector. Ignore that. And then we're going to click on Continue. So now, it says Send Campaign to Lead Connector. So I'm going to send this campaign by sit by test and review, clicking on test and review. So we click on test and review is going to tell us if it was successful, if we had an error. So now it's saying a campaign was sent to lead connector about six seconds ago. Success. So let's click on our, go back to our system, our go high level, go click on go back go into automations, click into your folder where your workflow is. As you see, I am here. Total enrolled one. If you want to look at it further, you will open up the workflow, go to history, and now I can see everything that I did, right? So add to workflow, it added me. Add the contact tag. It added it. It executed that. Change the opportunity. It executed that. It did not send a notification to the implementations team because I don't have a user in here. <laughs> so that was an error. Um, then it removed from workflow because it was done. Executed. So all of that is done. If you want to go look at it on the contact level, we can go to contacts. Here I am, I'm added in here, and here is my tag. And that is how you integrate Zapier with Go High Level.